Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're going to take a short break from the Hot Butcher Beers. Uh, the other half picked this up at the Kroger store she works at. Uh, this was $4 for this big 19.2 ounce fluid ounce can. 8.2% alcohol on this. And they have packaged on 062022 June. And this was just put on the shelf this week at the Kroger store. And it's June. July, August, September, October. It was four months old and they just put it on the shelf. Even, you know, the bigger craft breweries like Sierra Nevada don't have any more pull than, say, the little local one down here getting their beers put on the store shelves in a timely manner. Seriously. I mean, I mean serious. Uh, Four months, and they just put it on the show. That's sad. That's sad. Unless, if, if, and like I said, and, and different stores are different, but that's the way this one is down here. The smaller stores don't have uh, a lot of shelf space for the craft beers, and uh, the big boys, craft, uh, not the craft, but the, the big boys, the uh, Coors, Miller, and, and Budweiser's, get select shelf space. That's the real world, even in 2022. It, it's better than it was 10, 12 years ago when I first started doing craft beer reviews. So, uh, uh, but still, it's what it is there, guys. And even even on top of that, you can, I can go to the craft beer store and find beers like this over there. Sometimes they catch it and they'll put it on sale and get rid of it. But a lot of times you go over there, and especially the stuff that don't have a date on it. So how are they going to know? I mean, they don't know. I mean, you don't know, and they don't know. They put it on the shelf and hope it sells, and you know, and it's not a multi mess by the time you buy. So, especially the ones that don't put a date on their stuff or put some kind of code that you don't know. But anyway, I digress. Let's get on with this one. Big beer, uh, 8.2, not huge, but big enough. Over to Untap. Uh, Atomic Torpedoes are East Coast slash West Coast Hop Collision. Combining East Coast and West Coast, unleashing the joint pair of two styles, juicy East Coast. Uh, I live on the East Coast. East Coast beers aren't juicy unless they're New England style to me. I'm so sorry. Uh, and dank West Coast. And some of them are pretty dank and pretty tasty if you like that filtered high IBU beer. So, and they are tasty. I do enjoy them. Uh, fused in this double IPA, their hot flavors span lush fruit, sticky pine, and floral tones. It's our classic IPA transform. Salt, yes, assertive. Approachable, yet atomic. So, basically, it's their uh, torpedo amped up. So, let's see what this brings. And I'm not going to drink all this. I'm going to share it. So, we're not going to do a double pour. Very clear, coming out, uh, typical West Coast style, guys. And I don't think there's any kind of, you know, it's a filtered beer, so it's doing the swirly swirl is not going to help it any. It might help the head, uh, but it's not going to get any clouder. You, you know, if you're not getting enough head, you can increase that by swirly swirling it, but other than that, you're going to get what you're going to get out of the can. So, a uh, finger and a half. See right through it and a very nice amber color, very typical looking West Coast style IPA or double IPA I should say. What do you think? Hmm? To the nose we go. And this was a favorite of mine and the other half. She drank this beer regularly for a long time. She switched over to Centennial right now because I think she's getting a better price for them. And by, and by the, the case instead of a, a six pack or, or whatever. So. But even that, 
it, it has a malty smell to me, guys. It's four months old. And I can smell that. I guarantee you this would have been a little hoppier and not quite as malty in June as opposed to October. So, it is what it is there, guys. Cheers. A little grapefruit. I wouldn't get anything but malt on the nose. Uh, I'm getting the malt too. And according to, let me give you, let me back up. Bear Advocate says malts are honey, two row pale, hops are Cascade, Centennial, Mosaic, and Magnum. And I have brewed with all four of those hops, guys. Uh, but to me, this is. Yeah, a hair past prime shelf life, uh, about a month, so probably not something I would buy again uh, because of the date. I just wanted to pick this up and give you that explanation. It just showed up. She brought it home, uh, and this is what we got. So uh, is what it is there. Decent beer. It's not blowing my hair back or my socks off. I'm trying to be objective and grade it for a West Coast, but it's past its prime. It's, and I'm going to grade it that way too, guys. It's a little old, but it is what it is. Uh, again, probably not something I would pick up unless it was a little pressure. So, uh, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know why she picked it up. She knows better than to pick up stuff that's that old. So, I will remind her when I see her here in about 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Not super impressed with this, guys. I mean, it's a decent, well-made, for a mass-produced craft beer, uh, decent West Coast style beer. It didn't blow me away, and that's probably because of the age of the beer. It's a little past its prime, and we had that conversation. I don't think that'll happen again. Uh, but again, it was something she you know, they just put on the shelf and she's seen it, uh, so uh, it's what it is. I've done the same thing, so I can't fuss too bad. Uh, I would like for it to be a little pressure to give an honest review of what the beer is, but seeing that it's almost uh, 620, it's not quite four months, but uh, I, I do taste that maltiness in, in the beer that I think would not have been there. It may have been uh, fresh, uh, but it's a little too malty for my taste now that my palate is runt and uh, uh, the New England style is the only thing that I prefer, but I can't get it all the time. I mean, I have to go to a craft beer store to actually get that other than the three notch one you see in there, uh, that's as close to I can get to a New England style beer coming from the Kroger store down here where she works. So, uh, unless I want to make that trip. And every time I make that trip across town, I end up spending more money than I should. And it's real easy to do in a craft beer store because they're, you're buying one at a time usually and they're pricey beers. Especially when you're buying the 7.5 and up versions of those beers. So, uh, Again, is what it is. Uh, I don't have anything else to say, guys. I give half of it to the other half. Everything that was in the can and some that was in my glass because it's just a little too malty for me. But she enjoyed it. Bye, Chuck. Cheers, guys. Not blowing my hair back on my socks off, guys. It's a B plus, 88 from me on this one. Over to Beer Advocate, they have it at 90, outstanding. And over to Untap, they have it at 3.89, which is also in their B plus range. And I'm sure a bunch of those guys have had fresh versions of this. So I'm kind of gonna agree. Uh, it's a B plus beer, probably fresh or not fresh. Uh, anyway, but still, B plus beer is good if you can pick it up at a gas station or a convenience store or grocery store and not have to go to a you know a 
a craft beer store or something like that, a specialized store. That's like in Virginia, you have to go to the ABC store to buy liquor. It's not available in any grocery stores or any of that. So, I mean, uh, craft beer a lot of the times is like that still. Uh, if you're looking for something in particular that's distributed, a lot of times the grocery stores, gas stations don't get those. Uh, you have to go to a craft beer store to get it, just like you have to do for liquor here in Virginia. Here's what it is, 2022. I mean, it's like 1975. Anyway, guys, uh, it's a tasty beer, so if you've had the atomic version of this, let me know what you think. Uh, uh, it's a B-plus beer to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure even fresh, I would probably gave it. It may have got up to the 90. Uh, I don't know. My palate's kind of run now with the New England style. It's, it's hard for these beers to hold a cannon. And I try to grade it for what it is, but even it's still right now uh, too malty for me. Uh, but it's easy drinking. I, I would choose this over a Budweiser, no doubt. But uh, it's it's decent. Let's put it there. We'll leave it at that. It's a decent beer. If you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again. We got one more hot butcher beer. Let's go see what's in the fridge.